Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning. Good to be with you today, and I hope and pray that you are enjoying the weather. Uh, I tell you, it, it gets you a little excited. I don't know about you, but it sure does me. Spring is in the air, and, and I know what's coming, and so I'm excited for it. I, I love the snow, love that, that the winter, but I am ready for it to move on, and, and we have some spring. So I hope and pray that uh, uh, it will come soon. But, uh, but anyway, it's good to be with you. <clears throat> we had a great day on Sunday, and uh, hope and pray that uh, you uh, were able to join with us. Uh, I thank you for listening on our devotion today. And so let's get started. Hey, have you ever played a game where uh, two people got together and one was blindfolded and the other one had the task of leading the other person that was blindfolded? Let's say, for example, they were to draw something. And so without looking, blindfolded and all, the other person told the blinded, uh, the blindfolded person to how to draw and uh, what, to, what to do. And then when it was all over with, you know, <clears throat> they could all look at what was drawn and <clears throat> we could all laugh and all that stuff. Or maybe even uh, someone had to describe how to get through a maze uh, to the person that was blindfolded. Well, I tell you, it was a lot of fun. It was uh, uh, just uh, playing around, but uh, you know, it was quite interesting that uh, uh, here you were having to follow someone, and you were blindfolded. Uh, what they said, and and you know, right or left or up or down, you know, get on your hands and knees, you know, whatever they said, you had to do it. Well, believe it or not, there is someone uh, in the Bible that is described as a guide for you and I. Well, the Bible reads like this. In Psalm 48 and in verse number 14, For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our, here it is, guide even unto death. The Bible describes and identifies that, you know, this God is our God. In other words, the God that, that uh, it's referring to is not only the God of heaven, Jehovah, but the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and it identifies him as a God, as the God that will guide us. In other words, those that, that are saved, those that uh, look to him and, and want to be guided that God is a God that guides us, and how long? Well, until death. In other words, as long as we live, God is willing to guide us. But guide us how? Obviously, when we were playing that game, we laughed at each other because of you know, the uh, uh, debacle that unfolded many times because uh, we didn't know quite how to follow the directions and and the person given the directions didn't quite know how exactly you know how to navigate the the people by what they said and and it was just fun but you know the game of life though isn't that isn't that funny is it you know we 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 live in a world where uh, spiritually it's dark we live in a world where sadly enough it's it there's a lot of obstacles in the way and spiritually speaking, we need guidance. We need someone who knows all things. We need someone who knows the way. We need someone to guide us. And though we don't have a blindfold on our, on our eyes, yet there's so much, though, that we cannot see. There's so much that we don't know. And folks, it would be so wise on your part and mine that we would follow our guide, that we would listen closely to what our guide says and do it exactly the way he said it. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ is our guide and he wants to guide you. He knows the way. So I challenge you today, please listen to your guide. 
listen to the direction that he's pointing you and follow carefully because he does know the way. May the Lord guide you today. Let's pray. Father, thank you, Father, for your many, many blessings. And Lord, thank you that you do know the way. Lord, help us, though, to follow. Help us to not listen to our own hearts, our own desires, but Lord, help us to listen to you. And each and every step, Lord, we follow you. Thank you, Lord, that you don't give up on us. And thank you that you're always there. Bless us this day in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you as the Lord guides you through this day. See ya.